Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly video. This will be the last video before Christmas. Uh, tonight is Saturday. Um, so I'm going to film this and we're going to release it right away. I had my local diecast meet today. Um, and I have so much stuff uh, that I'm not even sure what I should show in this video and what I shouldn't. So we're going to kind of fly by the seat of your pants. I think I am going to show you all of it. I'm going to show you everything I've got in the front here. Um, when we turn the, the screen around, though, I think i got a select amount of things here that we're actually going to take a look at uh, because there's just too much. And um, literally, this video would be like two hours long if I were to break everything open in the second segment. So I'll have to do some separate videos and some other stuff for some of this stuff. So whatever. The local meet was fantastic today. Absolutely fantastic. But before I get to that, um, I did find a couple of things. I found um, this at an antique mall. This is an Ertl Vintage American Muscle 3-pack. Got a really good price and steal of a price on this. I love these cars. The packaging is completely trashed. Like, just completely trashed. But we're going to go ahead and the rubber bands are falling off. Hopefully, I don't have paint damage and stuff. But uh, we will go ahead and take a look at all three of these cars that we will look at uh, up close in the second segment of the video. Uh, let's see. I did get also from a local shop called Replay Toys. Uh, they are like a toy, vintage toy kind of resale shop. And they have lots of weird, cool stuff in there and lots of old vintage toys and stuff. And they do have uh, quite a bit of die cast as well. I picked up this Motor Max Fresh Cherries Plymouth Reliant. So I thought that was pretty cool. I snagged that. I only had a few dollars on me, so I grabbed just a couple of things. And I grabbed this really odd uh, F40 that has, like, lights on the top of it. So strange piece this is. Um, didn't even know what to price it at. They gave it to me for, like, $1.75 because that's all I had left on me in cash. So pretty cool. There's no batteries in it, and I didn't get batteries in time for this uh, video. Um but uh, I will have to get some batteries for it, and uh, we'll pop them in there, and I'll see if it works at some point. Uh, and then the only other thing I found was this was at a Hobby Lobby. This is from uh, Classic Gold Release 3, which is pretty cool that I found that. But now I don't need it because I have two sealed inners of this, and I'll get to that in a second. So... <clears throat> That was the stuff I picked up before the meet, and then the rest of this stuff I all picked up at this diecast meet today, my local meet. And my local meet is just getting huge. Like, it's getting, we're outgrowing the, the facility that we've been in, which was the VFW in Appleton, uh, which gives us this room, a pretty large-sized room for free. Uh, it's getting to the point now, though, where you have to get there super early to get a table um, because there's a lot of people selling, a lot of people buying. It gets really busy, especially right away in the morning. So it's just growing and it's it's pretty awesome. So I'll just go over the stuff I got from the meat. Uh, I got a couple things from that van guy. Uh, a couple of vans. This NWO Hollywood Hogan van. Racing champions. Not like I'm a huge Hulk Hogan fan, but if you collect this van casting, you kind of got to pick them up as they come along. And so that one. And then Charlie's Angels. Same van casting. So we'll take a look at those close up in the second segment. Um, kind of go through that stuff first that I kind of plan we'll look at in the second segment. Uh, this sweet Chevy van from Johnny Lightning. This is one I did not have, so glad to add that one to the collection. Um, got a couple of racing champions. These were only $2 each. They're both GTOs. Thought they were pretty cool, so I'll pick those up. We'll open up those in the second segment. I want to say, I think I might have this top one already. Eh, I don't know if I do or not. Either way, the packaging is gross, and so we're going to go ahead and, and take it out of there. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Got this interesting little Tomica uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Still got the little price tag on it, but anyway, so just an interesting little Tomica piece we'll take a look at that um i picked uh this todd picked up for me from an online seller so just a volkswagen beetle it's like a hobby exclusive um picked up this green light chevy corvette 67 corvette from cheers i just got it because i don't have that tooling that green light tooling so picked that one up 
And let's see here, Crazy Todd, I got this from him. He picked me up one of these since I had a damaged one. Uh, we probably don't need to open this and look at it in the second segment of the video. I'm just gonna open it right now. But the one I had was like really messed up and now this one's in good shape. So I'm glad to have um, yeah, a good version of this. I just, the one I had was not good. That came in my case. I'm just gonna put this in here for now. Don't really need to look at that close up. I've shown that car in another video. Uh, this weird little Casper a Racing Champions Dodge Viper. This was a, a freebie from that van guy. So he just gave me that right away at the beginning of the meet. So thank you very much, Andrew, for that one. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Then uh, Todd gave me a Christmas present because he's way too kind. This is the Ultra Red Mach 1. I am actually not going to open this up in the second segment because, you know, I got the Raw from Shresh. And I think it would only be fitting that I do a video and open these two together. So that won't be featured in the second segment. What will be featured though is I also got this from Todd. I ended up winning the 50-50 raffle. Okay, we do a 50-50 raffle there. I ended up winning it. First time winner for that, which is awesome. And uh, so I'm like, ah, I'm gonna spend some money. Todd's got a box uh, aside for me with a bunch of stuff. So I grabbed this super from him. Uh, the Honda Civic Super. So we'll go ahead and I will open this up in the second segment. And then let's see here. So we're definitely going to look at that stuff. I'm not sure on this stuff what I'm going to do, but I got uh, this 67 Camaro. I believe I got this from Dano. Dan Winchell. You guys may know him, may not know him. So in the community. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll open that. Right. No, I'll probably save this actually for a 10 car Tuesday. And then I got a bunch of cool classics. Um, Shelby GT 500, AMC Rebel Machine, uh, Mustang Coupe, those three. And then I also got some of these I actually I figured I already have, but uh, 69 Mercury Cyclone, the 65 Ford Galaxy, and the 62 Chevy. Very, very cool. And then the 77 Pontiac Firebird. I already had this one, but I think I actually have two of them, but I just couldn't leave this thing behind. So I picked it up and it was a great price. So had to do that. I'll probably also save these cool classics. I'll probably put these in a future 10 car Tuesday episode, especially cause I got six of them right here. And I probably have four others I could throw in and I can do a cool classics uh, 10 car Tuesday episode. So we will not be opening up those. <clears throat> Let's see here, we're not opening up that. That's gonna be a 10 car Tuesday. And then I got a whole more load of stuff down here. Uh, let's see. Had to get this set. Street Fighter V, but I had to pick up this pop culture set. Street Fighter II, okay, when that was first ported to the Super Nintendo, Super Street Fighter II, the regular Street Fighter II, I was just addicted to that when I was a young kid. Um, me and my buddy John would just play that game. You know, I would like stay at his house for the night. We'd get uh, get a, get like a cube of Mountain Dew and just like be crazy kids. You know, getting crazy on Mountain Dew and playing Super Street Fighter and trying to beat it on the most difficulty level the highest difficulty level possible and with the fastest speed ever so that was fun when we were kids so i had to pick up the street fighter set uh this is another one i may just do a separate video on these um i don't know i probably will i might as well just do a video on them i don't even know you know i'm a loose collector now and I, yeah i'm gonna open these anyway i'm not gonna save the card art whatever it's it's cool but uh, if it was like street fighter 2 maybe i would be more apt to save the card art but these will be in another video um and then, let's see here, this maybe we can open up. This is a green light from Terminator. It's a Jeep. I had to pick up this one. I just needed an example of that Jeep, and I think this is the coolest uh, version of this Jeep that's come out so far. So I grabbed that. Um, this is an older green light tooling. This is the custom 2008 Shelby GT convertible from Garage Stock and Custom. This is something that Todd had that he just 
uh, wanted to get rid of, so I picked it up from him. Uh, we'll probably, yeah, we might as well open up that one in the second segment as well. Um, so we'll do all that stuff. What else do I got? Uh, a couple Matchbox Toyota and uh, the Vista. Um, <clears throat> Toyota 4Runner is pretty neat. I don't know, Travis, Heavy Metal 164, let me know if you have this one or not. Because if you don't, maybe I'll hook you up with that. And then this uh, Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. I'm not sure if I have this on this wheel variation or not. So I'll have to check before I do anything with these. And um, so those are not going to be featured in the second segment of the video either. But I'm just showing them to you because I want to show you everything I got today. Um, and then just a K-Day Fair Lady Z. We can just open that up right now. That doesn't really need to be featured in another video. I did a K-Day video already and just needed that one. So that's the only car I wanted from the case. And now I got it. I'll set it over there. And let's see here. It's just a couple of more Johnny Lightnings. Got an example of this Mini. Import heat. Um, I might just spill these over into the... the next week's video because I think we've got enough stuff to take a look at here but we'll see and then these stock car legends these are actually really cool these stock car legends uh, series Johnny Lightnings they're just really really neat so I picked up two of those uh, pretty cool two different sellers have these um, and then really really cool well actually first I got these these are two sealed inners of Johnny Lightning classic gold uh, series 3. One is uh, version A and one is version B. This is from uh, my buddy's SC Diecast. So I will be doing a separate video unboxing these sealed inners. Maybe I'll score a white lightning. Who knows? That would be pretty cool. So <clears throat> set those down here. That's another, another video. And then, man, all of these. So I showed you this Motor Max, right? And we are going to look at this one. We will look at this car. Uh, but then there was a seller that had tons of these American graffiti ones with a little diorama. So really cool, man. Is that a Dodge Omni? Just weird cars, man. This is a, a Mustang II, Dodge Omni. Uh, what is this one? Does it even say what the car is on here? What is this wagon? I don't know. Whatever. I think it's a Maverick in the bar, or maybe a Gremlin, but. Anyway, really cool. These things are awesome. And I will I will probably just open these in a separate segment or a separate video. I don't know if I'm going to do a video on these in particular or what. You know, I should have picked up, it's a Fiero. Uh, here's a Mustang Mach 1. That's pretty awesome. And then uh, a GTO. I don't really think that GTO tooling looks very good. But I've got seven of them. Should have just picked up three more. And I could do a 10 car Tuesday with these. But I don't know. I might spill these over into next week, into the next week video, or just do a separate video on them. So I've got a lot of content I could possibly do here. So anyway, I think we have enough to look at over there. And that's the entirety of the haul. So all in all, I think I picked up 52 uh, pieces today from the meet. Yeah, I went a little overboard. And then, uh, and then I got that other stuff earlier in the week. So I think we have enough stuff right here to take a look at at the second segment. So let's go ahead and flip the camera around. If I forget to say it in the second segment, guys, have a very Merry Christmas. Um, I think I still will be releasing, uh, I still will probably film a 10 Car Tuesday and a Matchbox Monday. So there will be a video um, on Christmas Eve and Christmas. Um, so if you get bored with the family or what have you, you can tune in and watch those episodes or watch them later or whatever. But I think I probably will. Probably will put them out. Probably still do some. So, yeah. And I'll just keep releasing videos. It's fine. And you guys can watch them whenever. So, and again, thank you guys very much for watching this channel. But I really, really appreciate it. This year has been great for this, for my collection, this channel, and, you know, making friends and all sorts of good stuff. So, all right. Enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and flip this camera around. Let's go ahead and uh, get into some of this uh, diecast up close. Stay tuned. 
All right, so let's start by getting the Super Treasure Hunt out of the way. This is the regular Honda Civic EF. So here's your regular one. Looks pretty good. And then this is the Super. Let's go ahead and read the piece. So there it is. Kind of an interesting Super. You don't, the one thing that's interesting about it is you don't get very many white Supers. Like I can't think of really off the top of my head any other super treasure hunt that's ever been white kind of goofy that they did that huh where do they even have the th logo on this thing oh they put it in the license plate that's interesting i mean it's pretty cool it looks basically like the regular car the only difference in the paint is like this is definitely a more of a, a pearlescent on the super and then of course you got the rubber tires with tread it's pretty cool i guess i don't know it's different it's different that it's not like spectra flame paint at all i mean you obviously wouldn't want to paint something translucent white that would look really weird but uh just an interesting choice to go ahead and use this car do it with Gretty uh or g ready logo and uh do it in a pearl white and then an enamel white so Interesting choice, Mattel. I guess it's unique. It's definitely something kind of cool because you don't get very many white super treasure hunts. So that that is kind of a neat thing. So I guess because of the novelty of it, that is pretty cool. All right. So next, let's take a look at I guess some racing champions. Here's that uh, Dodge Viper. Very goofy. Casper the friendly ghost. Street wheels racing champs. Cheapo racing champs pretty awesome though I'll add it to my viper collection and uh so that's pretty cool thanks again andrew for that one uh here's this weird cheapo i don't know if it's a cheapo brand or what i mean it's got it takes batteries it's a soma soma toys and uh here's the battery compartment it takes two 392 batteries two little button cells so i will get some button cells for that and we'll try it out. I think it's what happens is you push the suspension down and that activates probably these lights up here and probably some sort of like siren sound, something like that. Just kind of an interesting thing. It's a Highway Patrol uh, Ferrari F40, which that would be a crazy vehicle to have as a Highway Patrol vehicle. And then um, let's see here. Let's do Racing Champ. So got this one, Hollywood Hogan. Um, he gave this to me really cheap. Apparently this, because I wouldn't pay much for this because it's crazy, but apparently it's kind of a rarer uh, racing champs van and it's not that easy to get. And usually on eBay, people are asking stupid money for it. So I was happy that he just hooked me up as a, at a good buddy, little cheapo price for it. So thanks Andrew for that one again. Uh, the back doors on this do open on these vans. I'm just not gonna open them because then I gotta shut them. And it's just kind of a neat uh, van casting from Racing Champions. And, and apparently it's supposed to come back. They're supposed to use this casting again in the very near future. So I don't know when they're coming up with another Racing Champions Mint release. But it'd be interesting to see in what retailers it shows up at. Probably it's going to be at a Meyer near me. I don't know if it'll end up hitting Walmart. I don't know if Walmart's going to carry them again. So there you go. There's that. NWO van. And then this one, Charlie's Angels same thing this thing is goofy if you find this thing on ebay it's probably probably asking way too much for it but i got it for a very inexpensive price and there it is funny thing is he bought this from a guy at the meet and then sold it to me and he just bought it as a double he always he's really cool about that he always buys doubles that he has for vans because he's just looking out for other van collectors so he tries to hook up people with stuff they don't have and i'm one of those people and that's fantastic so here's your charlie's angels van this is the same tooling as that nwo van and it's a van so it goes in the van collection and then oh we might as well stick with vans for just one more second because we got this chevy van there's a little ding in the side here not a huge deal though other than that it's in pretty good shape Johnny Lighting, it was sold to me loose at a cheap price. And I just didn't have this particular deco, so 
that goes into my Johnny Lightning van collection. And this Chevy van casting is one of my favorite van castings of all time because it is like super heavy. It is metal. It is, you know, all metal, just a big chunk of uh, solid metal. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so there's that one. And then let's take a look real quick at the other racing champions. These wacky things. This is a 66 Pontiac GTO with some crazy graphics on the side. I think that is that supposed to be like a reindeer or something? Is this like a Christmas version? I'm not sure. But these were two bucks a piece, which I thought was a pretty good price. Uh, that one, the wheels falling off on the front, so we'll have to fix that real quick, or maybe not real quick. So Racing Champs has got kind of a checkered past quality of die casts a lot of the older ones crumble and stuff this one seems like it's pretty solid uh, it does have a plastic base though no metal base that tire i'm gonna have to work on to get that in the right spot so we'll look at it from this way for now but uh yeah i think i guess that's reindeer or something a deer or something not sure if this is supposed to be like christmas whatever but it's a gto and i thought it was kind of cool looking so i went ahead and picked it up at two bucks you know whatever that's worth it so there that one is and then another gto from racing champs this one's got a really cool deco i thought i love the colors looks pretty neat hot rod magazine again this is another plastic base racing champs and that's pretty awesome i think that one looks pretty cool uh, everything seems to be in order here. I don't think I can crush it with my bare hands. So I think we got decent metal on this one. And I just thought it was a really cool looking GTO. So I grabbed it. One side mirror. Fat meats in the back. Pizza cutters up front. Set up the drag race. Opening hood. This motor is actually, no, it's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. But pretty interesting little little GTO. So it goes in the, uh, the Pontiac GTO collection. And then uh, let's take a look real quick at this early muscle 164 scale limited edition die cast metal. Uh, this one's actually a duplicate. I already have the, uh, the Christine looking like car. Uh, so let's take a look at these others get it out of the package here all right so good thing i didn't try to do that on camera this was a pain these were a pain to get open but here they are in all their glory or vint vintage Ertl american muscle these are just really cool toolings if you're not familiar with them they are very very highly detailed they do have plastic bases but they have a bunch of separate little pieces in the bottom so you can see like suspension at the bottom of the the motor um just gas tank all that stuff exhaust just looks really really cool so this is your 58 plymouth basically the christine car in that same color very very detailed motor uh just very detailed hood emblem or grill emblem right there uh, lens detail up front they have opening trunks and very very awesome so here is the Plymouth really cool car and I think I already have this one I know I got it in a, in a different color uh, I may have it in red as well actually now that I think of it and then I've got this one here again super detail on the bottom and this Ford Starliner just a really wacky car UFO 895 very good looking car i don't know if these are really true 164 scale but they seem to stack up to like auto world as far as scale goes maybe they're a little bit small uh lens detail up front of course uh painted detail in the back you get all the chrome trim um, just really 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 cool you get side mirrors rubber tires all that detail on the bottom opening trunk or opening trunk opening hood should have an opening trunk yep there you go 
and just very cool very cool moving parts underneath the uh, little suspension piece or whatever up here the axle and this uh, fuel tank and back if you pop those off there's screws that are holding on holding this casting together so it's pretty awesome to even go through the effect of hiding the screws by putting those extra components in there like this exhaust is all separate component as well so these are just really cool cars at some point i'll probably do a feature video on on racing champs when i get more of them or not racing champs sorry ertl uh vintage american muscle because they are just really really cool it'd be almost really neat to see round two bring more of these castings back that would be pretty awesome to see those in the racing champions line we did see one of them the dodge daytona and then we got this one again detail it's a 57 chrysler 300 you get lens detail up front a little miss here with the paint looks a little odd compared to that one um on the right side compared to the left side but you get opening hood lots of detail on the motor there hood tooling is kind of cool how it's like curved like the real car um, trunk with a spare tire lots of cool little details on these cars so really cool whenever I can add one of these uh, Ertl toolings to my collection and not at eBay prices because eBay can get expensive with these if you don't find like them in a lot and good pricing I usually try to get them with super trash packaging and I get them for cheap and it's kind of a crapshoot if they come out okay these I got lucky because they had rotted rubber bands on them and it didn't really affect the paint at all so there's no issues with the rubber band you can kind of see where the rubber band was you may not be able to tell on camera but there was a rubber band over there and there was one on the front of the car too holding the hood down but you can't really see it so i got lucky on these ones um, i have gotten unlucky in the past so you will get burned every once in a while with a bad one of these but if you can get good ones they are fantastic um, sticking with a little oddball brand die cast let's take a look at this motor max fresh cherries um, so maybe next week we'll look at the other motor max cars but we'll look at this one for now um, these are just pretty cool. This is just an odd car. I mean, you wouldn't expect to see a Plymouth Reliant in die cast form. So these have metal, this has a metal base, metal body. It's got a substantial amount of weight to it. It does have inserts for like headlights. They're not done like super clean, but they're there. It's got like a little insert piece for the tail light situation, little, uh, logo right there and just an interesting little car it's got one side mirror like it would have had uh, no opening features on these uh, but just an interesting interesting car fresh cherries are kind of cool they didn't really make a whole uh, ton of them uh, but they made a few and pretty oddball little cars there you go there's that if you want to pause it and read about this car you go to from zero to 60 miles an hour in about 13 to 14 seconds. Woohoo! And that is quick. So, yeah, just an interesting series of cars. I wonder if it has on the back. No, it doesn't tell you what other models were in the series. But uh, I don't think they came out with a whole ton of them, but a few toolings. Um, but in that American Graffiti with that little diorama and stuff, I've got a lot more toolings to show you. And maybe we'll take a peek at those in a separate, in their own video. Or I might just throw them into next week's video. We'll see what happens. But nice rubber tires, metal on metal construction, and a really cool little oddball brand of car. So that's awesome. All right. So let's see here. The only thing left, we've got this to look at real quick. I'm just going to leave the tag on here. This is a Tomica Beetle. It's in rough shape, kind of. It's one side. I don't know if this is what happened to the side of this, but it looks pretty bad. But it's the only version of this Beetle I've got, so I had to pick this up. Volkswagen 1977 Tomy, made in Japan. So pretty cool, nonetheless, to pick this up. Just an interesting oddball piece and uh, add it to my beetle collection 
as an example. It would be cool to get one of these mint for sure, but this will have to do for now. And then we'll open up this real quick. This is a sweet Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. I will have both colors of this, um, especially once I open those two sealed inners, but at least I'll have this one to look at for now. And this one, the round two did a really good job with this one. Those wheels and tire choice for this one is awesome. The color choice is awesome. The bird is awesome. Uh, the casting itself is not the best Firebird casting, but nonetheless, it is a 77 Firebird, and I definitely just have to have it. Well, technically, this is a 1978 Firebird. But just fantastic. The one gripe I always have with these is that wing on the back is plastic. It's a separate piece, and it doesn't always sit proper. On this one, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the hood open. Ugh, I'm not going to be able to get it open. And I'm not even going to bother because these ones are notorious too. If you open up the hood of these, it may not shut down all the way. And I'd rather just leave it shut. So that's what we're going to do with that. If it opened up easy, I would, I would open it up. But since it's being difficult, we're just going to leave it. Leave it as is. So that's pretty cool. This Firebird's awesome. Really good job from round two. making Breathing life into that Firebird casting from Johnny Lightning. Which used to be a just about the best Firebird casting you could get before Greenlight and Auto World, so but pretty nice, pretty cool, I like it. All right, and then let's do Greenlight. So Greenlight, Bardall Beetle. I don't know what the significance is of this at all. I'll probably tell you in the back. Let's see. We can look at it. He's a Norwegian immigrant. Came to the United States in 1922, and you guys can read that if you want. I know nothing of it, but I do like a old school Volkswagen Beetle in some sort of little uh, racing type livery. I think it looks pretty awesome. So, and you guys know I kind of collect this old school Beetle, and I think this one looks pretty cool. This nice little hobby exclusive. So it does look like the uh, bumper wasn't quite put on properly. Maybe I can fix that, but I'm not going to do that on video. Uh, but either way, pretty awesome, pretty cool. So I'm going to add that to the, the Beetle collection. And I've got three more to look at real quick. Do the Terminator, Jeep CJ7 Renegade. Love the Terminator movies, the first two anyway. After that, I don't really care about them. But I had to get an example of this tooling, and I thought this was the best looking one that has been out so far. It was a toss up between getting this one and the Lost one, because I did like the TV show Lost quite a bit, but I thought I might as well get this one. It looks a lot cooler. It's got the little side bits, too, and it's just a really interesting little tooling. I don't think, does the hood open on this? No. Hood does not open on this tooling, but very awesome. Sarah Connor. So, really cool to get that, and just a really cool green light piece. It's very lightweight, which a lot of the newer green lights seems to be very lightweight. I hope that doesn't mean we're going to get crumbling castings later on in life. I hope not. So, let's just hope not. All right, so there's that one, and then we got this one, the Cheers 1967 Chevrolet Corvette, where everybody knows your name. Let's go ahead and open it up. Just picked up this one because it's inexpensive, and it's a version of this casting. I don't have this casting. I didn't have this tooling until now, so now I can check that off of the list. Ooh, that's a low number. Or wait... Maybe not. Oh, wait, yeah. Is that six? You'd think they print it the same as everything else, so... Yeah, that's a number six. That's cool. It's either six or nine thousand, but I would think that it would be this way. So, that's pretty awesome. Uh, tooling number for this one is one f or 15B. So, I didn't have one of these vets, so now I do. Oh, and the hood opens quite nicely. There's the motor. Nice looking red vet. So add that to the 
green light connect collection if you guys didn't know or haven't figured it out or if you haven't heard any of my other videos talking about it the way i'm collecting green light is i really want just one example of every different tooling so of course i had to get this one this is the custom 2008 shelby gt convertible and this is definitely a weird tooling from green light it's an older one and it is geo uh, 009 I think it is in orange and this is kind of an interesting older green light tooling I do like a lot of older green light stuff this has a lot of detail on it but it's all tampoed there's no lens details up front which some of the older green light toolings just had uh, tampos they didn't really use lens details up front for headlights so but there's a detailed motor in there that looks really good the hood shuts really nice it's a pretty good roller um, and all in all it looks pretty good it's orange and black so nice to get an example of that so pretty much any green light I find that looks kind of cool and it's got a green post on it I know it's an older one um, I'm definitely gonna pick it up this has got a lot of weight to it it just feels completely different from these like newer toolings I mean even this one it feels different so that's my opinion stick it to it and that's going to be it for this episode so i showed you pretty much enough cool things i think i got a lot more cool stuff to show in the next episode um and in other videos i can't wait to unbox these johnny lightning uh sealed inners by the time you watch this actually i might have already posted that one who knows actually no i'm gonna post this tonight so yeah anyway you'll see that video soon and uh so that's gonna be it for this one guys thank you very much for watching another weekly episode and enjoy your christmas enjoy your families and have just a great time have a great holiday season and uh, in general a really nice week so thank you bye bye